When I got there, I noticed inside the crime scene tape were two small children who looked to be about five and eight. What's up, Chris? What do we hey, got? Well, well, we've got two victims. First one being a male, multi-gun shot wounds. He's on his way to the hospital. Second be a young lady. She's still in the house. She's found dead in the closet. When I'm briefed, I realize that the victim is Rashina Crowder, the mother of the two children that were outside the house. Rashina was an outgoing person, you know. She was fun to be around. She was a sweet person. She took care of her children. <sighs> Anybody talk to those kids yet? No, not yet. My next thought was somebody's going to have to talk to her. I knew it was going to be something that was going to be very unpleasant. I don't want to look these two kids in the eye right now and make them relive this nightmare. At least not until I try to find another way into this case. What do we got on our victim was shot? Mr. Donald Brown, he and the victim, Rashina Crowder, lived here together for about two years or so. Donald and Rashina were boyfriend, girlfriend, had been dating. The children weren't Donald Brown's children. What do you know about his injuries? They're bad. What I learned about Brown's injuries is he was shot in the penis and shot in the eye. As of now, they're not sure if he's going to make it or not. Let's see what we got. As I go inside the home, I see the door jams intact. There's no sign that the door was violently or forcibly open. Well, the first victim is right here. When I enter the bedroom, I see some pooling blood on the floor and high velocity blood spatter on the wall. I also see a half-eaten bowl of cereal, which suggested to me that he was in the middle of a meal and caught by surprise. Second victim is here in the closet. When I look into the closet, the victim is in a fetal position with a jacket. It looks like she was trying to hide when the killer found her. She didn't have a prayer. She had multiple gunshot wounds, two in the chest. Uh, she had one shot into her head. It was a very horrific scene. What struck me odd about that is that her eyes were wide open. The look of shock, surprise, and fear were very apparent. After she died, it just stayed there. Dead eyes like that, they follow you across the room, like a painting that's watching you. 